Good morning, Oklahoma, and welcome to Cow Calf Corner. This week's topic is beef is what's for Thanksgiving. And our title borrows from a very long-lived and successful promotional campaign for beef, the product called Beef is What's for Dinner. It's been around since 1992. It's one of the most well-recognized advertising slogans in America. It is estimated that 88% of Americans identify with that marketing campaign. And so I borrowed from that to talk about Thanksgiving this year. Thanksgiving was first celebrated in this country by the Pilgrim settlers in 1621. And since that time, it has truly became an American holiday rooted in production agriculture. It's a time of the year when we may bring our own unique taste and flavors to the table, but we gather with family, we give thanks for another year of harvest, we make plans for the future, and and celebrate the day. In America, it has long-term been a tradition that we eat turkey on Thanksgiving. But this year, I encourage you to consider beef for Thanksgiving dinner. If you're gonna do that, I would suggest you consider a couple different things. First, how much time do you have to cook? Now, this is gonna lead you to a cut of meat, something that can be cooked long-term, maybe smoked, slow-roasted, like a brisket or a roast, or potentially something like burgers or steaks that can be seared shut, cooked at high temperatures, very short amount of time. And so as we make plans with family and think about what cut of beef we're gonna have, give thought to how much time you wanna spend in preparation. Any of these things are gonna result in that tender, juicy, wholesome beef flavor that we all love. Second thing to consider, what is your budget? If we're gonna go with something like steaks or prime rib roast, we're looking at cuts that are gonna cost more per pound. We're gonna to wanna to figure out how much of them we need to accommodate the amount of family and guests that we've got joining us for Thanksgiving dinner. If we're looking at something where we spend less per pound, again, ground beef or hamburgers on a grill, something like brisket or roast, something we may slow cook, is gonna be a little less expensive to buy on a per pound basis. Two things to keep in mind as we make plans for beef at Thanksgiving dinner. Regardless of what cuts you choose, you're gonna be eating something that is delicious, nutrient dense, and is gonna pack a lot of punch in terms of protein, B vitamins, iron and zinc, and it's gonna deliver that great beef flavor to you. As we think about Thanksgiving this year, I wanna give thanks to America's farmers and ranchers we in America are fortunate to spend as little of our disposable income for food as any country on the globe because of the resilience, the business planning, the perseverance and ingenuity of America's farmers and ranchers. So thanks to all of you. And I remind you, beef is what's for Thanksgiving. Appreciate you joining us on Cow Calf Corner this week and happy Thanksgiving to everyone.